Hi, I'm Kai Dodson, and this is my 2020 capstone project for TAG. Hey Kai, what's your project about? My project is about the hardships of migrant workers and the pain and suffering they have to go through in day-to-day -day life. So Kai, how long have you been working on your project? I've been working on my project since mid-January. Events and buildings that migrant workers were a big part of include the Great Wall of China that was constructed in 7th century BC, the legalization of slavery in the U.S. that was, happened in 1776, the Canadian Pacific Railway in 1880, the Cesar Chavez riot in Delano, California, and the Qatar 2022 World Cup. Throughout history, migrant workers have been part of Earth's greatest successes and disasters. During all these times, migrant workers have been living in harsh conditions and treated poorly. A migrant worker, by definition, is a person who moves to another country or area in order to find employment. This includes a person who is forced to move to work. So, for my purposes, I will be including slaves as migrant workers. I chose to research slavery in the Cesar Chavez riot because they were both very important events that occurred because of migrant workers that we learned about in school. I found my main idea for this project on Instagram, where I saw a post about the 2022 World Cup and the hardships that migrant workers had to go through. Finally, I got the idea for my last two events from books that I read earlier in the year. The Boundless by Kenneth Opal, where I learned about the Canadian Transcontinental Railway, and The Great Wall by John Mann, when I learned about the Great Wall of China. I chose this project because I wanted to bring light to the harsh conditions and treatment of migrant workers through my artwork. When researching migrant workers, I found that almost all migrant workers have harsh living conditions, are underpaid, and are mistreated by their employers. Kai, does your project have any connections to the real world? Yes, it does. Here you can see the Great Wall of China, the Transcontinental Railroad, and the Whitney Plantation. The Fiery Skull is the focal point of my project. I wanted it to stand out so it would look like an entrance to something painful. I used the purple of the skull throughout my project to show the migrant workers' pain and their movement from place to place. This involved slaves moving to North America from Africa and migrant workers coming from China to work on the Transcontinental Railway. Not only does the purple color represent pain, but it also represents the hope that events such as the successful Caesar Chavez strikes give to migrant workers that have to go through that suffering. The Great Wall of China is one of many ancient monuments that were made by migrant workers. It was constructed between 7th century BC and 1663. Over this time, as many as 400,000 migrant workers died. Many of these workers were buried inside the wall itself. Slavery is probably the worst thing to ever happen in the history of the U.S. Slaves were captured and taken to work on a plantation without pay, and they were horribly mistreated. During the slave trade, around 12.5 million slaves were brought to the New World. Only 10.7 million slaves made it. Of these 10.7 million slaves, about 388,000 slaves were brought to the U.S. The Canadian Pacific Railway, also known as the Canadian Transcontinental Railway, was constructed from 1881 to 1885. Its purpose was to connect the continent for easier travel and carrying of goods. To do this, they sacrificed the lives of thousands of migrant workers from China for the leisure of rich businessmen and their company's goods for traveling cross-country. The Cesar Chavez strikes were very important in gaining better working conditions for migrant workers that came from Mexico to America. In my artwork, the fields that I made to represent slavery also represent the strikes of migrant workers from Mexico. The purple color drawing towards the fields represents the suffering 
and the hope that they give to other migrant workers from their successful strikes. The most recent of these events is the construction and preparation for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. So far, hundreds of workers have already died. As said by The Guardian, hundreds of thousands of migrant workers have toiled in temperatures of up to 45 degrees Celsius for up to 10 hours a day as Qatar's construction boom hit its peak ahead of the FIFA World Cup. Nobody should have to work and live under these conditions ever. These migrant workers have to live with extreme heat, a lack of clean drinking water, little to no pay, and they are stuck into their contracts by the kafala system. What should we do now, you may ask? Well, the topic of migrant workers and their horrible living conditions has been overlooked for way too long. To fix this problem, we need to not only give everyone equal opportunities, but also an equal say in everything.